Michael William Krzyzewski. Nicknamed Coach K, born February 13, 1947, is an American college basketball coach. He has served as the head coach at Duke University since 1980, where he has led the Blue Devils to five national titles, 12 Final Fours, 15 ACC Tournament Championships, and 13 ACC Regular Season titles. Among men's college basketball coaches, only UCLA's John Wooden has won more NCAA championships, with a total of 10. Krzyzewski is widely regarded as one of the best college basketball coaches of all time. Krzyzewski has also coached the United States national team, which he has led to three gold medals at the 2008, 2012, and 2016 Olympics. He was the head coach of the U.S. team that won gold medals at the 2010 and the 2014 FIBA World Cup, and an assistant coach for the Dream Team at the 1992 Olympics. Krzyzewski was a point guard at Army from 1966 to 1969 under coach Bob Knight. From 1975 to 1980, he was the head coach for his alma mater. He is a two-time inductee into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, in 2001 for his individual coaching career, and in 2010, as part of the collective induction of the Dream Team. He was inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006, and the United States Olympic Hall of Fame in 2009, with the Dream Team. On November 15, 2011, Krzyzewski led Duke to a 74-69 victory over Michigan State at Madison Square Garden to become the coach with the most wins in NCAA Division I men's basketball history. Krzyzewski's 903rd victory set a new record, breaking that held by his former coach, Bob Knight. On January 25, 2015, Duke defeated St. John's, 77-68, again at Madison Madison Square Garden, as Krzyzewski became the first Division I men's coach to reach 1,000 wins. On June 2, 2021, Krzyzewski announced that he would retire at the conclusion of the 2021-22 season. Mike Krzyzewski didn't want it to end like this, but after Duke's 94-81 loss to North Carolina in his final home game at Cameron Indoor Stadium, he seemed to be glad it was done. It's hard for me to believe this is over. Krzyzewski told the crowd who'd come some spending $10,000 or more for a ticket to say goodbye. So I'm just going to say the regular season's over. This season has been long, and while Saturday wasn't the official finish line, it was, perhaps, the end of his farewell tour, and for that, he was thankful. Krzyzewski announced his retirement last June, a decision he said he made so he could have won last season to focus solely on coaching no recruiting, no worries about the future, just one final run for a championship. But that plan was never going to work. The basketball world wasn't simply going to watch Krzyzewski, the winningest coach ever, ride off into the sunset. His career required a requiem. And so at each stop along the season schedule, the lead story was Krzyzewski. At some stops, there were honors. At others, emotional reunions. At North Carolina, just a month ago, there was a fitting absence of fanfare only rival fans casting their rage onto the enemy one final time. Then, as an afterthought, they played basketball games, and in all but four of them, Duke won. The Blue Devils had circled this one months ago. It was a rivalry game, of course, but they'd already thrashed North Carolina in Chapel Hill, a statement win in a season in which Duke has also beaten Gonzaga and Kentucky. The game didn't matter much in the standings either. The Blue Devils, by virtue of a seven-game winning streak, had already clinched the ACC regular season title. No, Saturday was about this team penning its own chapter in Krzyzewski's legacy, sending its coach off the right way. Only, that didn't happen. I'd be lying if I said I didn't know this date was coming, star forward Paolo Banchero said. Everybody knew. It's something more than a regular game. It was important. And it sucks we lost. Funny thing is, Krzyzewski didn't seem to mind all that much. I'm glad this is over, Krzyzewski said. Let's just coach and see what happens in the tournaments. It's been a surreal few days. After the emotional moment for the Duke legend, Krzyzewski, and his former players who included the likes of Jay Bielas, Elton Brand, Christian Lettner, Shane Battier to JJ Redick to name a few known as the Brotherhood met for an iconic and larger-than-life photo at a half-court. Whether Duke wins or loses the Battle of Tobacco Road on Saturday night, the beginning of the end to Coach K's tenure at Duke is undeniably a moment in time that sports fans will never forget. Coach K was not simply the head coach for the Blue Devils. He was a quintessential face of the university and a staple in the college basketball community. 
For one final game, Krzyzewskiville will cheer on its namesake against rival North Carolina. Durham, North Carolina for 41 previous seasons, Mike Krzyzewski has counseled Duke basketball players on how to handle the swirling emotions of their senior day. The commingling of pride, joy, sadness and nostalgia can be a lot to process before the last time they take the court in Cameron Indoor Stadium and bathe in the adoration of the home fans. Saturday, it's finally Coach K's senior day. It's time for him to coach himself on how to say goodbye to college Camelot. At the final pre-North Carolina press conference of his incredible career Thursday, Krzyzewski walked himself through it, thinking out loud. He acknowledged that the reality started to hit Wednesday this is it, the 648th and final contest here, the culmination of a symbiotic relationship between a man and a building that has become synonymous with the passion of the college game. The collegians who play and cheer in Cameron never age, but the coach is now 75 and Saturday is an ending that is both a long time coming and arriving quite suddenly. After four decades of honoring others, it's finally senior day for Coach K. Keep your Kleenex handy, Mike. This could get dusty.